what's up everybody so in this video i'm going to show you how to factory reset or unlock your nokia 6310 ta1400 that's ta1400 so <laughs> it's funny enough to tell you these guys i've been battling with this small nokia phone for about four days to a week um i tried different to pandora cm2 whatever or even nck i tried to push the device into diac and then factory reset the device in diac all felt to work guys so finally i finally find out a simple way to do that in few minutes without uh, suffering around then i now think okay let me share it so that other people will get it so easy they don't have to battle as i battle with this small phone so um all the tools you are going to need a free tool both the driver and the tool to uh, factory set the device is free i'm going to leave uh, a blog link in the video description so that when you click on the link it will take you to my website and uh, through in between the post uh blog post i'm going to attach the video there uh the link to the driver and the two so guys uh let's let me open my device manager so i'm going to open my device manager so that so that we're going to see uh the device when it's been connected and uh, we get to prepare the driver uh the driver to be installed in order to make the diac uh available to work on so it is it is very important to note that while connecting your nokia device you should not press any hot any hot keys that is you should not press any uh boot key you just turn off the device and then plug in usb so is that is going to show up the two drivers we are expecting to see in the device manager this is my device manager so as you can see the device is not being connected yet this is how my device manager looks right now so i'm going to connect the device so that you see uh, so that you see uh what am I going to call it so that you see how the device is going to show up in the device manager? So, guys, um, the device is being connected and is that's the device the right there Nokia 6310 CA 1400 and if you look closely you see that they have this yellow exclamation mark which is called conflict so that conflict is an indication that an hardware device is uh, a hardware device or a peripheral being connected is not properly recognized or is not properly uh, been driven so that would give um, a, a very difficulty for the computer to recognize the device so uh, kindly uh, download the driver from the link from the description uh, I will leave the link in the description kindly go there and download the driver so after downloading the drivers, you extract it on your computer. So let me extract. So guys, after extracting then you come to your device manager you hover over um, the driver right there the device the hardware device 
you come here browse on my computer and you come here let me pick from a list of available driver on my computer and then it will bring you to this hardware list you scroll down to uh, to ports come and lpt that's it ports come and, L and lpt then you click on next and it's going to give you uh come here which is going to source for available drivers that the computer thought it might work so as you can see there is nokia there and these drivers are from uh, the nokia suit software that i earlier installed on the pc so if you check all the models you're going to see that all the models there are old model so you just come to half ticks and you come to browse so then you locate the drivers i attach in the link in the description you open it so if you're having windows 7 you should use win 7 if you're having windows 8 or 8.1 you should use win 8 and if you're having windows 10 or windows 11 like i do then you're going to use the win 10 uh drivers so you open the win 10 and you see another folder drivers you open it and you're going to see these four drivers so the one we are going to use is the uh, second to the last, that's the third one. You click on it and uh, you open it. So then you click OK. It's going to give you this list of drivers. Then you go to uh, Spread Room DAC, SPRD DAC. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to give you this one and saying installing this device driver is not uh, recommended because windows cannot uh, verify whatever whatever authenticity of it so all this one is giving a warning that the driver uh, is not for the device or whatever but since we know what we are doing and it's already tested by me then you have nothing to worry just ignore the prompt and then you click on yes so as you can see it's installing the driver right now and it says windows has Windows has successfully updated your drivers. And if you click OK, it's going to refilter all the hardware and you're going to see that the one the device with conflict will remain only one there. That means we have successfully installed. And it's going to leave the uh you're not going to see conflict on it, and it will go back to port com and LPT without any conflict on it. You do the same thing for the other one. You left click on it and you come to update driver and you do, let me pick from the list of drivers available. You scroll down to ports, come and LPT. You do next, have a DIX, browse, and then select the same driver we selected for the first one. And then you do okay. You also select uh, SPRD, uh, DIAC, and then you ignore the warning and then click okay it's going to also install that one so that one too will be properly drived and then it will leave you will not see the the jack uh, the conflict or whatever it's also going to uh, be under port jack um port uh, command lpt so that means you have uh, successfully uh, drive both uh, ports so guys um i forget to tell you something that's the two extracting i'm trying to inst uh, extract the two that i used so i forget to tell you something to get these two uh ports that we just drive now you don't have to press any key on the device before connecting it so when while the device the device is still off just plug in your USB and then leave the device. It's going to start charging and those two uh, uh, devices will show up in your device manager. Then you proceed with your driver installation. Don't press any keys on the device. So now these are two. The two is, um, is by Gotham. And make sure before the two will be able to run on your computer, you must have to disable all your antivirus 
if you are using a third party antivirus like I do, I'm using Havas, you just go and moot it. You go and moot the driver for few minutes or hours, or you can terminate it permanently. So after everything, then you go and on it back. But as per mine, I moot it for one hour, then I'll uh, extract the tool again. So... So these the two right here. The link of the two will also be uh, attached in the video description. So you open the two, and it's going to give you something like this. This is the interface. It says searching for uh, comports. Okay, means it has successfully recognized the devices the two devices we drive so as you can see is a uh, com 49 and com 50 so the same thing on the two you're going to see com 49 and com 50 so that's it right there com 49 and com 50 so what we're going to do is we're going to we don't know which of the two is going to connect directly to the EMMC to help us reset the user data. So that means we have to do them both. We first do it COM49, we click reset now. And as you can see, it says sending command OK. So the command has successfully sent to the phone. So it's telling you here that if the, uh, the phone is going to restart, if you don't restart, you should boot the phone to recovery. So this one is uh, for Android SVD device, but since we are using it for this Nokia, it doesn't mean anything. So that Nokia phone will still be off. Do not worry, just go out, hover over that and click on COM50, then you also uh, reset now. So it's going to send the command also to that second uh, USB connection. And it's going to give you that same message saying uh, the command is successfully sent to the phone. So if you have these success locks that says the command has been sent to the phone, congratulations. I think from this stage, you have successfully uh, reset your Nokia 6310 TA1400 without using any professional tool, no Pandora, no CM2, no NCK, no blah, blah. So that's it, guys. Um, make sure you like the video. Uh, give it. Uh, give my channel a subscribe if this video uh, help you. I'm very sure this video will help you and it will work for you 100%. I, it took me a long time to figure out this simple way and I share it for you guys uh, free of charge. So I think giving me a subscribe, worth it. So please and please make sure you subscribe because um, uh, yeah, I'm also uh, going to commit myself in giving you uh, tips on how to do things like this very easy. And also try my possible best to show you the best free tools that can uh, help you get things done. Uh, without uh, using all these uh, license tools or box or tools. So that's it, guys. So let me recap everything from uh, the beginning to end. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to turn off your Nokia 310 and then you connect it to your PC. Don't press any hotkeys. So you don't need to press any boot key. You just turn the phone off and then you connect it to your PC so while the phone when the phone start charging it's going to give you those two uh, ports in your device manager with conflict with conflict extract your drivers and then follow the video the video instructions to install the drivers then you open your SVD diac tool and then you uh, toggle between the two ports and then you do reset now 
that's all guys see you in the next video